COPPGIS, a geo-collaborative approach in controlling epidemic spread. Dengue fever, also known as breakbone fever, is an infectious tropical disease caused by the dengue virus. In a small proportion of cases, the disease develops into the life-threatening dengue hemorrhagic fever. Subsequent infection with a different type increases the risk of severe complications. Until now, emergency meetings were being held via notices, calls or letters. Meeting sessions were held regularly and reports were shown in terms of maps, daily basic cells, trends, presenting graphs and charts. This process is time consuming causing wastage of resources and delay in response. Institutions and counselors are now able to collaborate via rapid communication channels with the help of GeoMeeting. Emergency response using GeoMeeting, a web-based solution offers all that in a single platform. Participants in a meeting session use any standard browser to take part in the teleconferences based on synchronized map views. The decision authorities may use GeoMeeting to share information such as a map, multimedia and discuss on real-time manners. No traveling issues are involved for decision makers. Authorities can accomplish many of the same tasks they want to achieve as if they were actually present at the meeting. Authorities may point out seriously affected areas by incident marks, which are located and shown to all of the meeting attendees. Since each attendee can share his or her ideas and add comments and multimedia to share rich information against each incident marker, the meeting sessions become purposeful. Android component has also been incorporated. A person can add data and share it in the GeoMailing database by taking pictures and describing incidents which can be viewed by all respective users. For example, in connection to daily outbreaks, if someone wants to inspect a particular area in order to see whether it is being sprayed or not and if the facilities are available in the nearby health units, then he or she just needs to use the GeoMailing view component. Real-time heat map can also be used as a base map and can be analyzed by respective participants. Like the image here, a geomitting base map can describe the dengue spread in Pakistan with the help of the heat map. This will give insight about the strength of the epidemic at the town level. All action done are stored in the database for further use and retrieval on a 24 by 7 basis. Typically, a geocollaboration session remains open in an operation center to allow you to follow events or general situations. For example, the current locations and conditions of the epidemic in this specific area, the street map of Pakistan 1 column 25,000 with WGS84 as a reference system was used as the base map for epidemic mapping. Epidemic identification is based on scouting using different service sources, i.e. Android, field SMS and internet based. An Android based survey is done by conducting door to door visits and by taking information from each house about the patients. It includes a number of fields such as the number of patients, their age group, type of epidemic disease and area name. After collecting specified information, this data is sent to the GeoMating database where with the help of this database, the heat map is generated showing the type and intensity of the epidemic. An SMS based survey is done by the patient or patient attendee. She or he just sends an SMS to a specified number from the mobile phone with the area name. The data is then added in the database automatically and can be analyzed represented in GeoMeetings with graphs. Field survey data is sent manually with a GPS based location that is attached with additional information represented using the heat map or the map. Survey points can also be plotted using open source. GIS software, i.e. quantum GIS, which can be used for future epidemic spread prediction. The reference system used for survey points in WGS84. By using geostatic techniques, spread of an epidemic can be identified through an interpolation method.